आदित्य बिरला ग्रुप बिग इन योर लाइफ को प्रेजेंटेड बाय स्टार हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस द हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस स्पेशलिस्ट को प्रेजेंटेड बाय जेके टायर रेंजर सीरीज स्टे वाइल्ड एट हार्ट पावर्ड बाय एन संडे हो या मंडे रोज खाओ अंडे Good evening hello and welcome you are with the news today this is your prime time destination news newsmakers talking points news without the noise the big story today the enforcement directorate has now reached the doors of the gandhi family sonia gandhi rahul gandhi have been summoned is this a political vendetta or a fair probe in the national herald case also the tragic death of singer kk has put the focus on heart attacks among the fit and young on the rise we'll be talking to top doctors on that too but first as always it's time for the nine headlines at nine the enforcement directorate summons rahul and sonia gandhi in the national herald case the congress calls it political vendetta says the modi government is misusing agencies the bjp and aam aadmi party at war over delhi minister satyendra jain's arrest in a money laundering case Minister Smriti Rani claims 16 crore rupees laundered by Jain Kejriwal hits back says his minister is being unfairly implicated The center acts finally amid targeted killings in Jammu and Kashmir all Hindu government employees should be transferred to Kashmir district headquarters government to ensure safe accommodation for them Enforcement directorate freezes 23 bank accounts linked to the Popular Front of India agency says more than 60 crore ru- rupees deposited in these accounts over the last 13 years. Bihar all party meet gives unanimous nod to caste census in the state census to also include religion form a formal proposal before the Bihar cabinet soon. UP chief minister Yogi Adityanath lays down the first carved stone for Ram Mandir sanctum says invaders had attacked India's faith pledges to make Ram Mandir India's national temple Sindhu Musewala's murder in Punjab may have been plotted in Tihar jail more and more evidence emerges of that accused gangster Lawrence Bishnoi claims no role in the killing a forensic team now to study the shootout video India mourns the sudden demise of iconic singer KK KK passed away at the age of 53 after performing at a concert in Kolkata last night singer's cremation to be held tomorrow And Rafael Nadal beats world number 1 Novak Djokovic to enter the French Open semi-finals the 21 time Grand Slam winner now faces third seed Alexander Zverev on Friday Nadal yeah, Nadal Nadal makes it to the se- But our top story tonight in a dramatic political move Congress president Sonia Gandhi and member of parliament Rahul Gandhi have been served notices by the enforcement directorate in the National Herald case to appear before the agency the central agency has given Sonia and Rahul Gandhi two separate dates to appear while the congress is alleging political vendetta the BJP says the law will take its own course in the National Herald case what is the case and why exactly have the gandhis been summoned now that's going to be our top focus take a look the gandhi family is under the scanner the enforcement directorate has summoned congress president sonia gandhi and mp rahul gandhi for questioning in the national herald takeover case sources say that rahul gandhi who was asked to appear on thursday is currently abroad and has sought time sources say sonia gandhi will appear before the ed on june 8 as asked by the agency the summons to the gandhis has angered the congress the party is accusing the narendra modi government of political vendetta saaf hai ki shasan ke sab morchon par apni nakamiyon ko chhupane mein vifal tana shab chhatpata raha hai desh ko gumrah karne ke liye bhartiya rashtriya congress ke netritv ke khilaf ek ghinona और कायरतापूर्ण षडयंत्र रचा जा रहा है द बीजेपी हैज रबिश्ड कांग्रेस चार्जेस जो आदमी कटघरे में खड़ा है जो बेल पर है तो बेल हट उठवा लो ना चार्जेस हटवा लो ना क्यों नहीं करते तो इसलिए नहीं करते हम क्योंकि कागज सच्चे हैं और कागज परमानेंट होते हैं चेहरा गड़बड़ था और आईना साफ कर रहे हैं 
The case is related to the takeover of Associated Journals Limited by a company controlled by the Gandhis. The chain of events start with the Congress giving 90 crore rupees in interest-free loans to the AJL. In 2010, the Young Indian Limited is set up. Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi hold 76% stake in Young Indian. The Congress then assigned AJL's 90 crore rupees loan to Young Indian. The Young Indian took over AJL in December 2010 for 50 lakh rupees. With the takeover, the Young Indian got control of AJL's assets allegedly worth 2,000 crore rupees. The takeover of AJL was carried out allegedly without consent of shareholders. The AD summons to the Gandhis come ahead of elections in Gujarat. The investigation is bound to embarrass the Congress in Prime Minister Modi's home state. Probe into the National Herald case began after a private complaint filed by Subramanian Swami. The ED has already attached properties allegedly linked to AJL in Mumbai two years ago. The agency is investigating if any money laundering took place in the takeover of AJL by Young India. Munish Pandey in Delhi for India Today. So is this political vendetta by the Modi government against the Gandhis using the enforcement directorate? Or is this simply a case of law taking its course? That's the big question that I'm going to pose to stellar guests. Abhishek Manu Singhvi, Congress Member of Parliament and Sayyid Zafar Islam, BJP Member of Parliament. Dr. Singhvi has requested that it be he be questioned first, but I'll get Zafar Bhai to then respond. First to you, Dr. Singhvi, because the big question is, Every time the, any Congress leader, in this instance the Gandhis, are summoned by the ED, the first reaction is political vendetta. However, the charges made are very specific. The charges in this case of the manner in which Young India Limited was set up in 2010, where allegedly Sonia and Rahul Gandhi held a 76% stake, where a 90 crore loan that had been earlier given to associate journals that owns National Herald was then left to Young India to take over with a 50 lakh uh, investment, takes over this company associate journal and thereby gets control of 2000 crores. This is the chronology. Rather than challenge the chronology, you immediately scream political vendetta. Your response. You're on mute, Dr. Singhvi. You're on mute. The chronology, uh, Rajdeep, the chronology is a little different mm -hmm. and a little inconvenient to those who want to indulge in propaganda. And I'll be very pointed and brief, but this is important for your viewers to know. This is the first case I've heard of or imagined where you can have money laundering without either money or property moving. Mm -hmm. One millimeter even. It is unheard of and a kindergarten person will tell you, without any knowledge of law, that without either movable or immovable property moving an inch, there is money laundering. Number one, it is an old legacy National Herald for six, seven decades. Number two, it fell on difficult times. Number yeah. three, it ran up debts over the decades of roughly 90 crores. Number four, the Congress infused this money and the debts were repaid and this was used to pay off wages, pay, gratuity, uh, things like that. Mm -hmm. Subsequent to that, all that AGL did, which owned all the assets of National Herald, was to convert its large debt into equity. It is done by every company in India and abroad. It's a known technique that whatever debt you have, you give equity to somebody. And therefore, because that somebody has helped you, you convert your debt into equity. The somebody who helped them and who got the equity and therefore became the holding company of AGL, was a company called Young India. Now, Rajdeep and I are conspiring to take over AJL and we will go, that is Rajdeep and I, to incorporate Young India, which is a not-for-profit, special statutory vehicle, which can't pay a penny of dividend, which can't distribute profits. So we must be pretty foolish conspirators, Rajdeep and you, me, to have conspired to create a company which can do nothing. But now which controls large assets, which controls yeah. large assets. 50 just lakhs is what is paid by Rajdeep Young India to take See, over AGL is, and thereby it controls assets facts. worth 2,000 crores. Allow me to finish, Rajdeep. Serious debate requires fact. That's the problem. So let me be, I'll be very pointed, you know that. Yes. Now, this goes to Young India. Young India is the holding company under all established law. The assets which you call 2,000 crores remain with AGL. 
Not a penny moves. Not one asset moves from AJL anywhere. AJL remains the owner. AJL shareholding is now with uh, 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 Young India. That's all. But under corporate law, this is a separate entity which owns all the share. But no property is moved. The same shareholders, the same uh, uh, property, the same money. Now I want to ask you: In a not-for-profit company, even if it has shareholder interest in AJL, mm -hmm. how on earth? That not-for-profit company not being able to give out dividend, profit, or any benefit can't pay salary or perks to its directors. How on earth can any money laundering be imagined? Where is the movement of money, the money trail, the conversion? What is money laundering, Rajdeep? It is the conversion of unaccounted money and its projection and use as accounted money. If there is no movement of money at all, not one penny, and no. there is no movement of immovable property, how is the money laundering? No. Number three. This happened in 2014. I appeared in the case. Mm -hmm. That case is going on the main predicate case. In 2015, the file of the parallel case of ED attempted to be started was closed. Subsequently, the ED officer was sacked. The new officer was made to reopen the file in 2015. In 2015 to 22, nothing happened. In 22 now, summons are issued. There are only summons at Section 50 to both the Congress president and the former Congress president. But obviously, it is but obvious that have you ever heard of any BJP factotum or institution getting notices on such facts? Have you heard of any entity associated with the BJP, a friendly entity, being pursued by any agency on these facts? It is obviously because you want to divert attention from humongous inflation, 14% and 8% respectively, you want to divert attention from uh, b b b no. unemployment of humongous proportions. And you want to do these things in a context where money laundering, we are only concerned with this notice now. We are not talking, if you have, if I have violated, if National Herald has violated some lease, please take over the property which you initiated. Mm -hmm. If National Herald has violated the Companies Act, please take action under the ROC. Where on earth does a money laundering summons come only to humiliate, to create sensation, to create Every, let me end by one second, more, five seconds more. Every opposing political entity to the BJP and every journalist can put his hand on his heart and you'll find the answer. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, from Gujarat to uh, West Bengal, which is opposed to the BJP, is having similar episodes. But nobody in the BJP will ever have it. No, you're, you're because, making a very uh, serious charge, which I would, res yeah. with due respect, ask you to one minute listen to the BJP representative. Because you have made a very serious charge today. No, you must. No. You must, Dr. No. Singhvi. Uh, no, no, uh, do listen. In, in the interest, you Rajdeep, know, I, you no, I give equal time. You, you must listen Raj, to it. Rajdeep, Rajdeep, you are known not to change the rules of the game I don't after change, you start the game. No, I, I, I don't change the oh. rules. But I, I, I do believe that you have made a very serious chat. Let him respond and no, then no, I will I give you one final I, intervention. I respect I, the views. I am happy to be questioned by you. I respect the views of my friend. He's entitled to no, his because views. you have made so the have charge. Ask you have, me. Otherwise, allow me to bid you goodbye. Okay. Let, can oh, can oh, I just respond, please? Yeah, yeah. let him respond and then I would like you to give one response. Uh, no, no, you are, I know you're saying I'm you changing the you goalposts. You be doing. No, no, you, you must listen to this one. Zafar Islam, the charge with Dr. Singhvi today has made is a charge many are well, making I'm, in the opposition. I, I, well, I'm just the That the truth. enforcement directorate is being used to single out the opposition, in Say, this case, the Gandhis. It is absolutely baseless. This kind of allegations have always been made by people who have committed crime. If somebody has been asked to appear and is being, probed, is being questioned, mm -hmm. what is the problem? If there are certain information the agencies have and they are independently pursuing, it's not being, they have been asked to pursue, mm -hmm. if they are independently pursuing, whether it's after seven years or after five years, they have certain information, they have certain leads and they are pursuing a particular case. All they need because, to because because Zafar are Islam really, when I look uh, no no Zafar Islam Zafar Islam I be saying no no, no one they should not are be overly we concerned about all it. the crooks are in the opposition and all the saints are in government is that what we are saying that the enforcement directed only seems to find cases we are, in I'm not I'm, I'm, give me one see, case are uh, we saying Mr. every Singh BJP leader, leader has not engaged in any crooked course. no no. Allow me to respond. You have posed a question. Allow me to respond. I respect Mr. Singhvi as a very senior lawyer and a very respectable lawyer and a senior uh, politician as well. Let me respond to the question I think for the benefit of Mr. Singhvi as well. See, the rule of the game has changed. The, does people talk about corruption these days? No, there is no corruption in the government. 
all the frauds which have, uh, and corruption has taken place prior to 2014 because we are extremely concerned and and uh, particular about not commission, having 40% commission any, any in Karnataka in our government. Do, Mr. Dr. Islam, and, and contract, secondly, just a minute, sir. I, I contractors in Karnataka to, uh, have said I, I, they have I, I to pay 40% commission to no, a BJP listen, government. Has any me. ED, you has any full... ED gone to Karnataka? Has the ED listen. ever gone to Karnataka? See, there are there are instances where uh, uh, BJP politicians have also been questioned by ED. How can you say that Give me one instance. they have never been questioned? Give me one instance. Uh, uh, Mukul Roy, he was when he joined BJP, still he was being pursued. So it is very unfair to make this kind of a statement. But let me ask you, if whatever Mr. Singh has stated just now, I heard it. Mm -hmm. If they feel that there is no uh, 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 case here, the kind of case which is being pursued by the uh, by the agency, which is independent agency, mm -hmm. then they should just appear and narrate the truth, whatever the truth they have, or what he is trying to state. Okay, let, yeah. Second, yeah. Let, 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 let me take that can to Dr. Singh. Uh, no, no, let me take uh, that to uh, Dr. Singh. Can Singhi. I ask you? So, yes. so, so, can I ask you one question? Yes. AGL stake, AGL shareholding, AGL mm. shareholding. Mm. How much stake Mr. Rahul Gandhi had? Did he declare in his ITR in 2011? And why did he hide? That is the question which the AD is in, intent to ask him. Okay. And they, is this something which is a, which is something which he should reply that well, there are certain information which was hiding, which he was hiding, and which well, he was trying to hide, and something which he, if he if he has those details, mm -hmm. he must comply with uh, the requirement of the ED and agencies. Okay, let, let Dr. Singhvi, you know, let's be clear that while you keep insisting that there is no case to be made, the IT has sent notices. The trial court has. Uh, taken cognizance of the IT department probe itself. Now the ED is backing it. They claim with a money laundering probe, which eventually will go before the court. My point is, all these points that you are making today to me in the studio, presumably you will make before the ED and the court. Are you saying that over these 8, 10 years, all of this is being created only as a distraction, only to distract from inflation? Surely the government doesn't need to do this to distract from inflation and from the other problems of the economy. Look, uh, Rajdeep, I made several points, none of which I'm going to repeat. Yes. I don't think any of my points have been answered, even though I'm not supposed to be here for a rejoinder. I stayed on because you said not a single point which is factual, pointed, uh, political and legal has been answered. Number three, uh, of course, Mukul Roy was a very delicious example. In a matter of fact, the facts show that Mukul Roy's entire harassment problem ceased the moment he went through the whitewashing machine, which is known as the BJP. That's a well-known fact. Mm -hmm. Number four, uh, you must know that eight hours before now, I said at a press conference that even if Mrs. Sonia Gandhi is stopped mm -hmm. forcefully, she will still go to the ED on 8th. So, where is the question of running away? Where is the question of not going and telling all these things as it is? Mm -hmm. That does not mean that I cannot speak to civil society through you, the media, and tell them what a motivated, biased and malefic government is. Of course she is going. Of Can I ask you one final oh. direct question, Dr. Singhvi? One yes. criticism is, why didn't Associate Journals Limited sell off the assets to pay off the loans? They've kept the assets. They acquired these assets for just 50 lakhs. One figure is that these assets are actually worth 2,000 crores. Why didn't they sell it off and just pay off the loan? Sir, I am assuming that these assets are 10,000 crores. Forget 2,000. 10,000 crores or 2,000 crores or 2 crores, mm -hmm. these assets are, have been for 70 years and as we speak today, continue to be owned by AJL, which mm -hmm. is an independent separate company. All that has happened is that its debt, large debt has been converted to equity, making Young India shareholder. Mm -hmm. Now, even in a normal commercial situation, mm -hmm. it is permitted 100%, but here it is a joke. Because Young India is a statutory, non-for-profit, restricted company which can do nothing. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's an entity created for keeping things as they are, of which the Gandhis, the late lamented Voraji, Mr. Sam Petroda and a few other directors. Now, what is this director about? Because the legacy of National Herald over 70 years, mm -hmm. with the Nehru and the Patel and the Purushottam Lal Tandon mm -hmm. and the great freedom struggles and the values they stood for, had to be protected. Young India was Gandhiji's uh, newspaper. He they, wrote also, that they also own a lot of prime property, sir. Who owns? 
AJL. AJL owns. AL continues to own for 70 years. That's the point. Mr. Zafar Azam cannot answer because there is no answer possible. He's not a magician. Not one property of one inch or one rupee of one fund has moved from AJL to anybody. These people who are directors of Young India can't even give salary and emoluments to themselves. Should Rahul Gandhi have declared it in his IT report? First of all, you just showed your chart. Everything is declared. Who has said it's not declared? Secondly, if it's not declared, it is an IT action. Is it a 2022 ED action? ED, please read the act. Please read Let section 3. A money laundering has to occur. A unaccounted money has to be projected and used as accounted money by some flow, some trail, some movement. Mm -hmm. Let me you therefore... can't read the IT. At the end of it, Khoda, Pahar, Nikla, Chua, you are talking of IT now. Can I just... Okay, that's the point with Zafar Islam. Khoda, Pahar, Nikla, Chua. There's a feeling that the process is the punishment in India. Keep the case boiling. These are cases which are Subramaniam Swami originally filed the petition in 2013. When 2022, the case was within the IT's domain. Abhishek Manu Singh is making the point, where does the ED come into this case? Where does money laundering come into this case? And some congressmen are saying that this is the last thing which involves money laundering. You can question on IT, but where's the money laundering here? There is already a proceeding going on in IT for many years. See, uh, uh, Raj, 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 Rajdeep, yes. see, as far as agencies are, agency is concerned, it's an independent agency. They have certain leads, certain information. They have uh, asked them to appear. Let them go through this process. Whatever information they have, probably I don't have those information and I may not be able to speak uh, about what sir, information they are holding. Sir, you and didn't answer my question though. Why is the appear? information only of opposition that, let me, leaders? Let me, let me, just sir, you have not me. answered whether it is no, no. Shiv Sena in Maharashtra, no, no. whether it is Satyendra said, Jain no. in Delhi, whether it is now the Gandhis, whether no, no, let me just come ED here. seems to sir, only find it, opposition not, cases. See. Are we saying, no, I ask you, that the Karnataka government accused of 40% commission by contractors, no ED is required in Karnataka? No ED is required in any other BJP ruled state? Rajdeep, 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 you are unnecessarily making allegation that our government is a vindictive government. I am asking our you one instance. Party. Give me we one instance of an ED inquiry the, into a BJP a, It leader. is agency which is doing its job. See, it is, uh, come, uh, uh, no, it is agency which is discharging its responsibility. Aren't there its job to pursue such cases where they feel there, there is a corruption, there is a crime committed by somebody? It is their job, just simply discharging their responsibilities. If it is, there is absolutely no interference okay. by the government. Oh. Having said that, the the allegation which has been made by Mr. Singhvi as as well as many other uh, uh, Congress leaders and opposition leaders that we are pursuing vindictively such cases, this is absolutely baseless. Agency is pursuing case based on the evidence they have. We do not have, and it is for them to prove that they are innocent. Court of law. Is, uh, uh, sir, is, but uh, don't you Mr. think, Singh don't you think such that, cases, uh, sir, cannot, my final point to you, judgment. my final point to you, don't you think these cases should be pursued with an element of swiftness? Before the 2014 election, you promised that you would put Robert Vadra in jail. We haven't seen that happen. Now you've said that you will get the Gandhi's Subramaniam Swami 2013 files it, 2015 IT, then we, they are, we, no, no, one minute, sir. 2015 they appear on IT, now 2022 you come up with ED. My point is then the process becomes the punishment. Keep the case lingering on. Resolve it. If they have evidence, say, convict say, them, put them Rajdeep, in jail. Rajdeep. I'm saying put the Gandhi's no, no, in jail, sir. Rajdeep, if you Mr. Have evidence. Singhvi is a very learned lawyer. Ask him whether the government can pronounce judgment or it is the uh, uh, the, the court. Court has pro has to pronounce the judgment. Okay. So why you are asking us? We can only pursue the independent agencies can pursue cases, and it has to be proven in the court of law. Okay. Therefore, I if will ask. That that that's a good point. That's a good point. That's a good point. I want to take. That sir, they, they sir, you make a good point. Let's no, take that to Dr. Singh. Prove their innocence in the court of law, not uh, not in front of the government. Dr. We are Singhvi, not pronouncing any judgment. Dr. Singhvi, the government says we have nothing to do with this. If you are so innocent, have faith in the judiciary. They will ensure that you are let off. Why is the Congress time and again creating, in a way, this belief that this government is vindictive? There is a saying in English, uh, uh, Rajdeep, that you know you can't live life on fictions. It's the biggest fiction that you have this massive mammoth army mm -hmm. of agencies like ED, IT, SFIO, CBI, you unleash them, harass every opposition leader 
and then you sit back and say what's the problem if these are false cases mm -hmm. the courts will protect you and in the previous sentence the same rajdeep sardesai says the process is the punishment mm -hmm. it's so easy for rajdeep sardesai to go to court and get himself acquitted it's so easy to get bail it's so easy to solve the problem by approaching the court what does it matter i only have agencies they may do wrong they may be harassing but the courts are there sir we know your process your sentence is the most important rajdeep process is the punishment mm -hmm. you know the conviction rate is 0.00 something 99% of these people will come away but that process is the punishment okay the idea of all this is to keep this democles sword to create tension to go after you and then say oh what the what does it matter let the court solve it i mean this is the most uh, it's the ostrich in the sand kind of a most academic ivory tower argument i've ever heard let's leave it there dr singhvi i'm glad that you picked up a sentence of mine when the one of the country's top <laughs> lawyers picks up the sentence of a humble journalist process is the punishment i i know that i said i wouldn't do a face off but this was an important subject that needed both sides to be heard hence i have violated the rules for once dr singhvi sayed zafar islam thank you both very much for joining thank me you. on my top focus today let me turn from there to the other big story the ground report that we have because targeted killings in jammu and kashmir have become a serious issue more than 16 people have been killed since the start of the year in these targeted killings now the jnk administration has decided to transfer all hindu government employees to district headquarters many of them though want to be transferred out of the valley to jammu here is the ground report may 31 2022 Hindu woman teacher Rajni Bala shot dead by terrorists in Kashmir May 17th 2022 52-year-old 52 liquor shop owner Ranjit Singh killed in a grenade attack May 12th 2022 Kashmiri Hindu Rahul Bhatt killed in cold blood at his government office a reign of terror has been unleashed on hindus particularly kashmiri pandits as fear grows in the valley the government has finally taken a major decision by the 6th of june all hindu government employees will be shifted to offices in district headquarters in the kashmir valley they will be provided with security accommodation so that their safety may be ensured top administration and police officers have been tasked to ensure no hindu employees should work or reside in isolated areas an option has been given to government staff to move to jammu if they still feel insecure the extraordinary step has been taken by the administration after kashmiri pandits staged a series of protests in jammu and in kashmir demanding better security and relocation to safer areas opposition parties have also slammed the government for not doing enough to protect minorities in kashmir 16 kashmiri panditon ko isi saal chun chun ke mara gaya kashmir ka aam aadmi yahi chahta hai ki kashmir mein rehne wale hindu aur musliman सभी एक साथ रहें सुख से रहें अफसोस तो इस बात का भी है जो कश्मीर बेस्ड पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज हैं वो लगातार ये घटनाओं का कंडेम न करके सरकार को कोसती हैं सुरक्षा बलों को कोसती हैं सुरक्षा बल बहुत अच्छा काम कर रहे हैं द मूव बाय द जे एन के एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन कम्स एज सिक्योरिटी फोर्सेज हैव इंटेंसिफाइड दर ऑपरेशन टू हंड डाउन Pakistan state sponsored radical islamist terrorists this year alone 145 terrorists have been neutralized so far with sunil ji bhat in jammu and ashraf ani in srinagar bureau report india today and let me be i am joined today by a special guest he is a kashmiri hindu government employee employed in the kashmir valley we have hidden his identity आप हमारे शो पे आए हैं बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आप बताइए सरकार ने आज कहा है कि हर कश्मीरी हिंदू जो गवर्नमेंट एम्प्लॉय है उसे डिस्ट्रिक्ट हेडक्वार्टर्स दिया जाएगा क्या अब आप संतुष्ट हैं आप जो एजिटेशन कर रहे हैं जिस तरह से आप कह रहे हैं कि सबको जम्मू को भेजिए आप सरकार कह रही है डिस्ट्रिक्ट हेडक्वार्टर्स को भेजेंगे क्या आप संतुष्ट हैं सर 
नहीं हमारा कहना पहले आपका धन्यवाद आप लोगों ने हमें बुलाया इस डिबेट में इस समय ये एक्चुअली जो किलिंग हुई है वो इवन मतलब जैसे कल की हमारी बहन की भी किलिंग हुई है बिल्कुल डिस्ट्रिक्ट हेडकवार के पास ही स्कूल है वहां पर और जो अभी राहुल जी की किलिंग हुई अगर आप देखेंगे वो एडमिन वो बिल्कुल मजिस्ट्रेट का ऑफिस है तो वैसी किलिंग अगर इन, इनको तो पता है गवर्नमेंट को कि ये इन जगहों पे किलिंग हुई जहां पहले सुरक्षा बल हुए थे वहां एक मजिस्ट्रेट होता था वहां एक तहसीलदार होता है और उसी ऑफिस में उसकी किलिंग होती है तो हम कैसे मतलब बिलीव करेंगे कि काउंटर में रख के फिर हमारे साथ ऐसा न हो तो आप लोग सब चाहते हैं आप, आप चाहते हैं कि आप सब जम्मू मूव हो जाए आप कश्मीर वैली में डिस्ट्रिक्ट हेडक्वार्टर्स में भी आप सुरक्षित महसूस नहीं कर रहे हैं बिल्कुल बिल्कुल हमें ऐसे सिर्फ जॉब के लिए नहीं जा रहे हैं मैं अगर अपना बताऊं तो मेरी पूरी फैमिली यहाँ पर रेहपेट हो चुकी है मेरे बच्चे यहाँ स्कूल जाते हैं मेरे पेरेंट्स यहीं पर है तो उनको भी बाहर निकलना है हॉस्टल जाना है मुझे मुझे इवन मतलब अगर नॉर्मल एक सी बात है कि मुझे सब्जी लाने जाना है मुझे दूध लाने जाना है तो गवर्नमेंट किस स्टेप स्टेप पे मुझे आप ये सिक्योरिटी प्रोवाइड कर सकती है ये जॉब का ही मसला नहीं है अभी मतलब इन चीजों को मान्य रखते ही गवर्नमेंट को इस समय हम नहीं कह रहे कि हम जम्मू जा रहे हैं या भाग रहे हैं या कुछ ऐसा हम तो पिछले बीस दिन से ही है धरने पर सिर्फ एक ही चीज हम डिमांड करते हैं हमारी जान बच जाए वो गवर्नमेंट बताए कि हमारी जान कही ये नौकरी का ही मसला नहीं है भाई साहब कि बस नौकरी करने के लिए हम बैठे हैं यहाँ पर बाकी चीजें भी हमें यहाँ साथ साथ चलनी है दूध लाना है हॉस्टल जाना है मेरी अभी रिसेंटली मेरी बच्ची बीमार होगी तो मैं अर्ली मॉर्निंग हॉस्टल चला गया क्यों रीजन यही था कि मैंने सोचा सवेरे मेरी सेफ सेफ है और इवन मेरी बॉडी लैंग्वेज देख के ही डॉक्टर साहब बोल रहे भाई साहब घर मत ये ठीक ठाक है यहाँ पर आप चिंता मत करो ऐसी ऐसी सिचुएशन भी फेस करनी है हमें मैं इतना ही कहता हूँ गवर्नमेंट को हमें कुछ टाइम ऐसा जो जब तक आई जी साहब ने भी बोला है कि तीन साल तक थोड़ा टेरिज्म हम खत्म करें गोड अच्छी बात है उनका हम नहीं कह सकते उसमें निलज हो जाएंगे बट हमारा यह है कि जब तक आप टेरिज्म खत्म करो तब तक हमें कुछ कहीं सुरक्षित जगह पे भेज दो तो वो जहां भी होगी राइट जहां पर इनको लगे हमें कहीं भी लेकिन आप चाहते हैं कि पूरी तरह से हम तैयार है ओके आपने हमसे बात की बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आपने अपनी बात रखी और हम चाहते हैं कि आप सुरक्षित रहे और पूरी तरह से सरकार आपको सुरक्षा दे थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर जॉइनिंग मी सर थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू लेट्स टर्न फ्रॉम दैर टू आर अदर बिग स्टोरी एंड फोकस टुनाइट के के द पॉपुलर सिंगर्स डिमाइस हैज लेफ्ट अ नेशन शॉक ही वॉज जस्ट इन इज अर्ली फिफ्टीज वेन ही सफर्ड अ हार्ट अटैक सून आफ्टर अ कॉन्सर्ट इन कोलकाता लास्ट नाइट हिज म्यूजिक हैज लेफ्ट एन इनडेलेबल mark on the sands of time but what his death has also done is focused attention on a worrying trend of people in their 40s and 50s otherwise fit suddenly finding themselves facing heart trouble and indeed heart attack the entire case has also sparked off a bit of a political war of words in kolkata we'll be joined by top heart doctors in a moment but first take a look at what happened last night to the popular singer This was 53-year-old singer Krishna Kumar Kunnat KK's last performance before he breathed his last. Held at Kolkata's Nazrul Manch Auditorium on Tuesday evening. KK was performing before a capacity crowd wildly cheering. During the show, KK was caught complaining about excessive heat. He was soon taken out of the auditorium after feeling dizzy and complaining of uneasiness. According to police sources, KK reached his hotel at around 9:40 p.m. after the concert. Once at his hotel, KK called the reception manager and sought help complaining that he was feeling unwell. But moments later, the singer collapsed. Hotel staff and his personal manager Ritesh Bhatt rushed KK to a hospital in an unconscious state. Doctors there declared KK brought dead with no pulse or heart rate. Sources revealed that there were injury marks found on his face and head. The body was sent for post-mortem to ascertain the cause of KK's death. 
Meanwhile, the BJP has referred to crowd mismanagement at KK's event, where fire extinguishers were caught on camera being fired at unruly fans, claiming massive negligence. I don't know how many people are doing this. I don't know how police, procession, how many people celebrity business. I don't know how many people are doing this. I don't know how many people are doing this. I don't know how many people are doing this. I don't know how many people are doing this. I don't know how many people are doing this. I don't know how many Not only there, incidentally, I was the chief guest of the function. He has taken four programs. In two days. So was there some mismanagement from the part no, of the no, manager? Not at all. On behalf of the police, it was totally perfect. I saw thousands and thousands of students. They were loitering in the streets, but police could not put police could not let it judge. Police should not let it judge. The untimely death of KK bringing heartbreak for India, shattering his huge legion of fans. With Indrajit Kundu in Kolkata, Bureau Report, India Today. Forget the politics. Let's focus on the health angle which is critical. KK was 53. Seemingly fit. Has a heart attack after a concert. Dies suddenly. Is there a trend here? I'm joined by Dr. Dilip Kumar, cardiologist, one of the leading cardiologists in Kolkata. Dr. Sandeep Mishra, former professor of cardiology at Ames is also with us. Uh, let me come to you, sir, there in Kolkata first, Dr. Dilip Kumar. KK was sweating a lot, apparently at the concert. The ACs were not working perfectly. It was a closed auditorium. He complained of some breathlessness, but wasn't immediately rushed to the hospital, which was nearby, instead taken to the hotel room, where he allegedly collapsed. By the time he reaches the hospital, it's too late. Is this a classic example of if you don't act in that so-called golden hour, after you complain of this kind of restlessness, breath, breathlessness, you could become a victim and it's too late then to revive you. Is that the real problem in cases like this? That the moment you complain of sweating, breathlessness, fatigue, you should immediately be rushed in? Yeah. Uh, thank, uh, thank you, Rajdeepji. And uh, first of all, my heartfelt condolences to the family. And uh, you're very right. Uh, this, is, this is the ominous sign and symptoms which uh, anyone will have. Uh, if someone has a heart attack or uh, I heard he had a symptom on Monday as well. So it was probably an evolving myocardial infarction. He had uh, Monday some symptoms and then... No, Tuesday the symptoms were breathlessness more... and fatigue. The sy symptoms yeah. were breathlessness and fatigue. Is that enough to believe that you could be... Uh, a heart attack could be around the corner? Yes. In addition to that, he was perspiring a lot, which yes. is a very, very classical sign of, you know, any uh, heart attack which is going on. So if... Everyone, everyone else is comfortable. You are sweating a lot. You are perspiring. You are feeling uncomfortable. This is an ominous sign and symptoms. And uh, there he should not have wasted time. And uh, we can, you know, uh, appreciate the commitment which he had. He, uh, you know, completed the program. And then in spite of, uh, instead of going to his hotel, he should have rushed to any hospital. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it was a sheer lack of, uh, you know, prompt action, uh, which, uh, you know, led him uh, pass away. It was very, very unfortunate and disturbing for all of us. So your so time is muscle. We keep on telling every time when we appear on television or in print media everywhere. Uh, what What did you say? Can you repeat that? Time is uh, is of the essence. Time is muscle. Muscle means uh, once you are losing time, once you are having heart attack, mm -hmm. every single second, every single minute, you are losing your heart muscle. And if uh, a substantial amount of heart muscle gets damaged, mm -hmm. it can lead to arrhythmia. It can lead to you know heart failure, and you can drop down. And what he ha happened in his case. And also, it was very surprising mm -hmm. once he fell down in hospital, mm -hmm. hotel, uh, there were, I think, apparently people uh, gathered around, they were taking selfies. But why was no CPR given to him? A chest compression, a simple chest compression at 100 per minute can revive many of the patients. So, a small, small things which are very, you know, lacking and which is really disturbing. Let, let, let me come to you, Dr. Sandeep Mishra. Uh, we've seen now a number of cases, particularly a lot of celebrities, those who are in these high-stress professions, high-profile professions, uh, a list of them in their 40s and 50s in the last one year, who've suddenly died of heart attack in their 40s, 50s. Is, that, is there a trend you notice there, or am I exaggerating it being unduly alarmist? Uh, no, I think, uh, Rajdeep, you are right on the spot. And uh, as a matter of fact, I may inform you that... Uh, uh, Indians as a race, if you call them race, basically South Asians, suffer all these problems about a decade earlier 
than the classical western population mm -hmm. so classical caucasian population if they have this problem 50 years of age we indians and other south asians mm -hmm. uh, have this problem at least a decade earlier so that means that uh, this 40 years of age is a usual age for indian population to have these kind of issues and uh, i will go even further that uh, like we as international cardiologists mm -hmm. have treated even 20s patients in 20s and 30s with heart attacks and uh, treated them and you know what, what are the safe. what are the symptoms dr uh, mishra that one should be looking out for that one should be worried when we are in our 40s 50s have your yearly checkup presumably but any particular symptom blood pressure cholesterol triglycerides yeah well yeah you are right this is a lifestyle disease mm -hmm. so basically here unlike other diseases so for example in tuberculosis you have a bacteria that causes it mm -hmm. here there is no single bacteria but here there are a host of lifestyle factors that are risk factors for causing coronary artery disease mm -hmm. and these risk factors are smoking diabetes uh, hypertension mm -hmm. obesity increased stress and uh, you know lack of sleep also to some extent and all these uh, lot of things and bad, bad cholesterol high bad cholesterol content all of these are risk factors which can cause the disease mm -hmm. uh, in uh, any uh, age group but particularly in indians and younger age group and pre so, presumably dr mishra family history as well right family history as well especially if somebody in family has suffered heart attacks at the age of 45 years mm -hmm. 40 years or something like that at younger age if family member has suffered then risk factor family history is also risk factor you know to that extent uh, dr dilip kumar in kolkata we have some you know the hospital was close to the concert so in in an instance like this we come back to it i the golden hour principle uh, you rush the person the first thing you uh, notice to the hospital right it, rather than take him to the hotel kk should have been taken to the hospital right away his life would have been saved in your view yes i think there are three hospitals in the very near vicinity of the venue where it was happening and it was uh, almost 5 minutes distance and a single ecg will clear the diagnosis so mm -hmm. a sing ecg will tell you whether there is a st depression st elevation if, the, if he's having a heart attack and uh, it will totally you know differentiate the situation and uh, can guide you towards better treatment or proper treatment uh, i just want to ask you though dr dilip kumar you remember in kolkata saurabh ganguly last year as fit a person is fitness you know people who have been on treadmill who have stayed fit have also suffered heart attacks does that worry you dr dilip kumar yes uh, it's not always a you know advanced coronary artery disease something like 80% 90% disease which leads to plaque rupture and you know myocardial infarction mm -hmm. but sometimes with 40% disease 30% disease uh, anyone can have and, and there is a plaque rupture and uh, he goes into heart attack mm -hmm. so and this is the age you see 46 50 early 50s this is the age where the onslaught of coronary artery disease starts and here we have to be very careful at age of 40 you will you should have screen yourself mm -hmm. with us you know ct coronary calcium a treadmill test ecg echo and blood you know, lipid profiles very very important we, we which we ignore and I've... one very important thing also yes you know all stressful jobs like as a doctor we are uh, there are you know military men there are police everywhere in job you go there is a medical test and there is a annual medical checkups mm -hmm. are the same thing happening in uh, music industry in acting you know the you know professions probably this is lacking there I, and uh, you know it's my advice if it is not there it should be implemented so have that annual checkup yes dr mishra you wanted to make a point uh, this you know a viewer has sent me a lot of 40 plus people take up heavy exercise is that a wise thing to do yeah so uh, you know the point i was trying to make was that uh, well, he collapsed mm -hmm. and then there was a window of opportunity. He could have been uh, resuscitated. The thing is that if you invest, uh, for example, even school children are taught basic life support uh, techniques and even advanced cardiac life support are taught to even school children. Sometimes, uh, you know, all the police officers, the uh, emergency uh, uh, like ambulance drivers mm -hmm. and firefighters and so many other even school teachers. But I think that uh, kind of uh, uh, concept is not there in India. And therefore, you miss this window of opportunity when somebody collapses. And if you immediately resuscitate doing CPR, or you could have given a shock. And, uh, you know, in now many airports and many areas, right. all the hotels should have a defibrillator available. And if you're able to deliver it quickly, then within eight minutes or so, then you could save life.
So I think that is one another thing that yeah. is missing in this whole story. You know, there are lots of lessons I can tell you as someone who uh, is at the moment going through a checkup uh, because of my cholesterol and maybe stressful lifestyle, some would say. I have to be careful and this is a warning to all, to lots of people. But our thoughts today are with the family of KK uh, and indeed his fans. It is terrible and tragic what's happened in this case. If only he could have been moved to the hospital uh, just a little faster. I appreciate my two doctors joining me and a warning to all of you out there. Go and get your health checkups done regularly. Let's turn from there to our special report tonight, which comes from Punjab from uh, my colleague Harmeet Singh. The probe into the gruesome murder of Punjabi singer Sidhu Musewala is intensifying. The questioning of the accused and suspects in the murder continued today. The first arrest was made. Manpreet Singh, a L L Lawrence Bishnoi gang aide, was nabbed in Uttarakhand yesterday. Manpreet is a notorious drug dealer and gangster. He's been in police custody for five days. This entire case, though, has also shown up the links that do exist or possibly between the music industry and gangsters. How true are they? Harmeet reports. Firing up punk spirits. Rapping like a gun. Tapping into defiance. Sidhu Musewala is no more, but his songs and music live on. And they have inspired a debate because of their combative tone and links to firearms. Some say it promotes gun culture. Others call it the musical phenomenon of the present generation. The sounds from this music, called drill in the West, may sound familiar to Musewala fans. Me, I'm trying to get fat, fat. live a larger for mills. Musewala's lyrics bore resemblance to American rapper Tupac Shakur, who died the same way as the Punjabi singer shot and killed in 1996. But some veterans back home don't think the Musewala brand of music is good enough for Punjab. <laughs> A singer has nothing to do with weapons. A singer has nothing to do with these things, gangs, this, that. 40 years, 8 years of my career, my father's career, my mother's career, and other singers who have been in this uh, line for such a long time. I mean, we have never seen such a thing happening in Punjab. Credited with turning Punjabi music into a global rage in the 1990s, Dalair Mehendi isn't supportive of songs glorifying violence either. I want to say that the government, the Kendra government, the whole India, the whole India, वो किस तरह के चल रहे हैं अगर नशे के ऊपर गाने चल रहे हैं गैंग के ऊपर गाने चल रहे हैं गन्स के ऊपर बात गाने चल रहे हैं या गलत वर्ड यूज करे किए जा रहे हैं के लिए ऐसे गानों को पहले सिंगरों को वार्निंग दी जाए कि रोका जाए तो ये बहुत कुछ ये कंट्रोल में हो सकती Bangalore-based author Amandeep Sandhu has written extensively on Punjab. He finds Musewala's songs to be an expression of characteristic resistance. To me, this angst is Punjab's resistance to its current conditions, and Musewala's music was one expression of this resistance. But since such music breaks predefined boundaries and traditions, by necessity it has to be irreverent. Popular, judgmental and controversial.
Sidhu Musewala's style has come as a milestone in Punjabi music. For some, it embodies the darkest truths of modern life. Others call it a reflection of violence that the singer eventually fell victim to. Harmeet Shah Singh for India Today in New Delhi. Let's take a break on this point. When we return, some good news. And it's a wonderful story that you must see. It's coming from Patna and Bihar. And I'll tell you more on the other side. You're watching the news today. News without the noise. Make your media plan smarter with India Today Live TV on your connected devices. Amplify your brand with 100 million smart internet viewers. To advertise, mail us at sales at arjtag.com or call 9999892171. Everyone's busy finding what's trending. You're busy finding out why. India Today, for those who research before reacting. Download the India Today app now. Make your media plan smarter with India Today Live TV on your connected devices. You are watching India Today. Welcome back. Let's turn to today's good news story, a story that might change perceptions of our politicians. She used to wash clothes for a living. Munni Devi Rajak is now an RJD MLC candidate in Bihar. She's known to the RJD as a loyalist. But her story is much more than just the ordinary story of politics. It's a story of a rise above adversity in one of the most patriarchal societies in the country. Munni Devi Rajak story is therefore a story of hope and aspirations. Take a look at our good news today story. Mobile भी नहीं था कुछ कभी अब लोगों को जेंस किसी लोगों को भेजा कर कहाँ को तो बोलवा के टांग के बोलवा के लम तो डर गए थे लेकिन इतना बड़ा गिफ्ट दिए गरीब को कपड़ा धोने वाला को मुन्नी राजक doesn't have a mobile phone. The message to Munni, inviting her to former CM Rabdi Devi's 10 circular road residence, was delivered in person by party workers. Lalu Prasad ji, our father ji, who is talking to us, that we are sending you to the mail. We are happy to see our hearts, but we are not happy to see our hearts. We are going to take our hearts and take our hearts to the Lalu Prasad. लोग कहते हैं इनके जो सत्ता पक्ष के लोग की परिवारवाद है परिवारवाद नहीं है दलित बात है द एम एल सी कैंडिडेट हु वर्क एज अ धोबी सुन शोड शी इज अ सीजन पॉलिटिशियन चाय बेचने वाला के कहते थे कि हम बेटा है तो चाय बेचने वाला को टिकट दिए हैं कपड़ा धोने वाला को टिकट दिए हैं डोम को टिकट दिए ना ना आंधे हुए हैं जो उनको जाने उनको चार चश्मा लगा करके कहेंगे देखने का काम कीजिए परिवारवाद के आज देख रहे हैं ना आज कपड़ा धोने वाली एक मुन्नी रजक को कहाँ पहुँचाने का काम किया एन ओल्ड वीडियो ऑफ हर हैज गॉन वायरल आफ्टर शी वॉज पिक एज द आर जे डी कैंडिडेट In the video, she can be seen protesting against CBI raids at Rabri Devi's residence. Munni Rajak's selection as MLC nominee is a reward for her loyalty and an outreach to the Dalit community by the Yadav party. With Rohit Kumar Singh, Bureau Report, India Today.
Well, in an age where most of our Rajya Sabha candidates seem to be nominated based on inheritance, Munni Devi stands out. That's why she was, well, in a way, our good news today's story. I leave you, though, with uh, the news that is tragic. Singer KK, as we said, passed away at the age of 53 after that concert in Kolkata. Singers, composers and fans pay a musical tribute on India today. I just wonder if there had been a medical, mini medical van there at that auditorium, he might still be with us. But his voice will always remain with us. A wonderful, soulful voice. Thanks for watching. Stay well, stay safe. Go and get your checkup done. Bye for now. याद आएंगे ये पल हम रहे या ना रहे कल कल याद आएंगे ये पल पल हम रहे या ना रहे कल कल याद आएंगे ये पल हम रहे या ना रहे कल कल याद आएंगे ये पल पल Number one political reporter defines what seems to be happening. Vendetta politics. Koi doot ke se dula hua nahi hai. Unmatched eye, unmatched experience. The world has changed. My black hair has become grey as well. And with unmatched passion for the story. Do not monopolize the conversation. When it's hundred percent pure prime time, it's news today with Rajdeep Sardesai. Monday to Friday, 9 p.m. Only on India Today TV. Make your media plan smarter with India Today Live TV on your connected devices. You are watching India Today. Everyone's busy finding what's trending. You're busy finding out why. India Today, for those who research before reacting. Download the India Today app now. Make your media plan smarter with India Today Live TV on your connected devices. Amplify your brand with 100 million smart internet viewers. To advertise, mail us at sales at arjthug.com. Or call double nine double nine eight nine two one seven one. Make your media plan smarter with India Today Live TV on your connected devices. Everyone's busy finding what's trending. You're busy finding out why. India Today for those who research before reacting. Download the India Today app now. Make your media plan smarter with India Today.